Thanks for taking the time to click on today's video. Have you ever considered the fact that unrealized gains are really no gain at all? Like, maybe you've never thought of it that way. So many people today are looking at their brokerage account statements, they're looking at their stock portfolios, and they're seeing this big balance. And boy, it makes us feel good. It makes every single one of us feel good. But the reality is that the number that you see on your statement is not real. That number on that statement is really, honestly, it's funny money. It's nothing that's tangible. It's nothing you can get your hands on. It's nothing that you can spend until at which time you have actually sold everything that you have invested in. The reality is, is that we put such an emphasis in today's marketplace on realizing gains. But the problem is, is that no one seems to realize the gain. Because you see, even after you've gained and you feel that, that, that kind of questionable feeling in the pit of your stomach that says, well, the market's up, maybe I should sell. Maybe I should go ahead and get a little bit more conservative. When you call in and you talk to your financial advisor, when you call in, you talk to that custodian, you call in, you talk to that broker of yours, what do they say? They say, oh no, you shouldn't do that because think about all the taxes that you're gonna realize. Well, here's the thing. At least I know what I'm gonna to pay to the IRS if I realize the gain. At least I know what that is. But do I know what I could potentially lose if I continue to keep my money in the stock market? And the answer, of course, to that is no, you don't. In fact, capital gains, gains in general, unrealized gains, that's a fickle mistress in today's world. Today, we don't know if we're going to be up, down, or sideways. And we have certainly no idea what tomorrow holds for our stock portfolio. So what's the point of all this if an unrealized gain is no gain at all? Well, the reality is that as you get closer and closer to retirement, now it makes more sense to focus on things that you can realize, things that you can spend. And what do I mean by that? You see, everything that we can invest in today, whether it's stock, whether it's bonds, whether it's cryptocurrency, I wouldn't care if it was pork bellies. We're in a position that we can own all of those same kind of items, but we can own them in the form that produces income, income through interest and income through dividends. And you see, interest and dividends are very unique because they get paid to you regardless of what the price of that position is. And, you know, isn't that really the ideal? Isn't the ideal to get to retirement and realize as much income as you possibly can? so that you can do all the fun things that you want in life. So please, if there's any message, any bottom line message to this little video, it's that you need to really be assessing the fact that if you've seen tremendous gains in your portfolio, today may be the day for you to turn those unrealized gains into realized gains by taking those winnings off the table and then redeploying those gains into things that are going to produce a tangible income for you through interest and dividends. Now, if I can ask you, if you've liked this video, please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up. And also, if you like our videos, if you haven't yet, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe so that you're able to get notified every time we have one of these videos. I think it's over here somewhere. You can hit that little bell and we'll be notifying you every time we come up with a video. And also, I would encourage you, take the time to share this information with your friends. This may be very basic information to you and something that you already knew. But how many of your friends have thought of their money in the form of realized and unrealized? I would encourage you, share this video with your others, your other friends, your family, your coworkers, so that they too can maybe be thinking about their money in a little bit different way. So thanks so much for watching. And remember, it's up to you to make today a great day.